Yo, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to get legendaries and how to convert the legendary scripts to get chances at getting better equipment in the game. Uh, there's this vendor here and this vendor located down here, the rusty pick. So you'll see like that big ass sign right underneath the this hospital center. Um, it's pretty much straight up is Fallout 76. I would keep calling it Fallout. It's Vault 76. So you go straight down from 76 and bam, that place. This place is, is basically um, a vendor for uh, basically buying a loot box to get a chance at getting the weapon or armor piece that you want. So um, it sucks that it's a completely random drop. I really don't like this in video games. I experienced this in, in The Division 2. I, I experienced this in Destiny 2. This, this the whole grind thing. I don't like it. But um, this is pretty much the only way to get legendaries. So unless you land up accidentally randomly getting it from a drop off of a mob or if you buy uh, if you landed up you know getting it on the scorch beast or these events see these events that are playing and stuff uh you have a lot more chances to get legendary pieces and then basically if you don't like the piece that you got and you'll know if it's a legendary when it has a star on it you'll see the enemy actually has a star on them too if you kill them they usually drop a legendary and um, what you do is you come to this vendor and this vendor basically will sell you all sorts of stuff. So these these are the, the, the random loot box things that are just like, it's completely random. Like you don't know what the hell you're gonna get. I'm almost at a hundred points and then I can buy another legendary range weapon. I'm trying, but the last time I bought a legendary range weapon, it was some some weapon I'm probably never gonna lose use in my life. So. I have the option to either sell it to players or I could just keep it and be a hoarder or I can vendor it. You see how this this machine right here, the legendary uh, exchange, this thing, you can access this from any train station. So whenever you run up on a train station, you see like there's one right here. Um, they're, they're, they're all over the place. Like you'll you'll accidentally like run into them. You see like here's one right there. Like whenever you see a train station thing, go to it because they'll have one of these uh, legendary exchange things. And what you do for this is you go here and you basically junk the legendaries you don't want. So let's say if I didn't want this sword, I, I like this sword, I'm gonna keep it. But if I didn't like it, I can go like sell and it says, okay, you can trade it in for 15 of the coin things. And, and basically you need at least a hundred coin things. I don't know what the currency is called to change it into getting a loot box to, to get a chance at getting something. So this is if you wanted a three star, by the way, it's a hundred. But if you wanted to get like a one star and try your luck with the one stars, you could probably do it a few times. It's only 25 little coin things. Um, I, I, I forgot what the, the name is. Let me, let me just look up the official name. Legendary scripts is what the thing is called. So every time you, you burn a weapon you don't want, you get legendary scripts and then you take the legendary scripts to this dude. So that's pretty much it. That's the whole concept behind the whole thing. It's just an endless cycle of grinding. <laughs> so that's pretty much the, the end game in this game. What I'm thinking is I was going to start just trying to find some mobs to kill. I hear that this is a very popular spot still, even though I got nerfed like 700 times. Apparently the White Springs Club is one of the best. So I'm going to run around this area. Uh, I need XP because I need to uh, respect my character, so I figured I might as well grind it. And there's chances of running into legendary mobs that you can kill to get legendary gear to basically vendor it and do the whole cycle thing. So I'm going to be doing that. There's also the events, like I said earlier, these events that are randomly happening in the world. Uh, you just like you got to look around for them. You see, here's one right here. Like basically you go to these events, some of them don't really have mobs that drop and that's the problem with them. But sometimes when you finish an event, it gives you a legendary item. They will usually be like a one star item though, I've noticed. So it's not going to give you that much money back, like the legendary scripts basically for them. But um, it's worth a shot. 
what I usually do is I wait until it's an exclamation point like this. The exclamation point means you could teleport for free. So if I teleport it to this one over here, it's going to tell me I got to spend caps to get there. And once I initiate it, players in the area are going to see it as an exclamation point. They can teleport for free. That's basically the concept. But this is a really good one right here. So let's go do that right now and uh, knock this, this thing out. This one has a chance to drop um, a bunch of legendaries. There's probably like three or four legendary bosses that drop in here. And of course, when you see the star bosses, that gives you an extra chance to get the legendary. Just wanna tag everybody at least once. All right, this is supposed to be a boss. I think I just saw it right there. Shit. You see this one? I'm just gonna punch everybody. I don't give a shit anymore. I'm not gonna waste any more ammo. Oh, look, a legendary. I just saw it. See? Legendary rifle. Take it. I pretty much use... <laughs> I use uh, uh, water as, as my heals now, so I don't have to waste stim packs. I'm trying to at least tag the mobs because I want XP, you know? I don't get XP if I don't tag the mob. Okay, there's a boss somewhere. Where's the boss? Alright. Thank God, he actually waited. Some of these people, like, they like to kill things so fucking fast. And it doesn't give you a chance to get the legendary, you know? Right over here. Right over here. Come on. Come on. <laughs> There's something so satisfying about that. Oh, this is a legendary right here. Look. Legendary mob. Nice. Furious golf club. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is a legendary. Look. Big time legendary right here. Oh, shit. No wonder. Like, hitting me like a truck for real. Ow! I'm scared of this thing. This thing... He's no joke. Like, he hits he hits like a truck, for real. Like, not even joking. He's smart. Like, he, he actually is smart. Hiding behind that wall. There it is. He's down. I always forget to use the critical thing. Oh, look, a legendary right here. really help there we go very nice ooh new uh, rocket launcher all right but that's pretty much it uh, the the white springs resort is definitely one of the best spots there are others but um, this is one of my favorites right now the mobs are very very difficult so you got to be ready to to fight level 60s and 70s and they can hit you really really hard so uh, if you're not prepared for that you could probably just do the events that's probably the safer thing to do that way you have some people to play with and it's usually a guaranteed chance to get a legendary uh for the most part depending on which one you go to if you can get a team together to do white springs it makes it a lot easier when you're lower level but if you can get yourself at least a decent weapon to be able to go in there and and do some damage then uh, you should be able to get some good stuff out of that and once you do a full clear you're just going to do the, the the usual log out log back in start a new server and do it all over again and that's that's pretty much one of the best spots because it's just like non-stop legendary bosses inside there to kind of at least fill the time before you you see like a, an event pop up whenever you see an event pop up do it so that's pretty much it but anyway 
Thanks for watching. Leave a thumbs up if you liked the video. Thumbs down if you didn't. Uh, leave any comments below if you have any questions or would like me to cover something in the future, and I'll be glad to. But uh, anyway, have a nice day. I'll see you guys in the next one.